These guys are Hooper Netwin. Together, they are the technical support staff for challenge-based learning and prototyping advice. Within the next few minutes, we'll look at everything you can use to prototype at TUE Innovation Space. On the first floor, we have two assembly spaces, the light assembly and the heavy assembly. In the light assembly, you can work with light tools or have team discussions. You can borrow these tools from the service desk, which is manned between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. Mondays through Fridays. After handing over your campus card, you can ask for any tool you need. At the service desk, it's also possible to have something 3D printed. You can hand over your drawing at the desk or have something 3D scanned. Your prototype will be printed as soon as possible and you'll get a message when it's done. Behind the service desk, you'll find a heavy assembly. This is where the 3D printing is done, but this is also a room where you can work on your electronics. You can do some soldering, test your PCBs or see what components you still need to get. If you need more or different components, there's a very good service station in the Atlas building on the third floor. It's called eLucid. In the back of the heavy assembly, we have a special 3D printer called an SLA printer. This stereolithography printing process allows us to work with a large variety of materials. However, this may take a bit longer to make. On the ground floor, there's a few workshops. The first one is the student mechanical workshop. This is where you can do many things like turning and lathing, drilling, cutting, as well as bending. Of course you will need instructions to use these machines, but there's always a trained technician around to show you how to handle them. Next to the student mechanical workshop, we have the student modeling workshop, where you can work on shaping or finishing your prototype. There's the spray painting cabinet, you can do all kinds of sanding, and you can use several cutting and milling machines for modeling. And lastly, there's the clean workshop, where you can do some testing, measuring, foam cutting, vacuum molding, and use furnaces or fume cabinets. Of course, it's extremely important to use safety gear that is provided. So always wear safety glasses, gloves, and wear hair nets if necessary. Right now, it's also important to keep in line with the corona measures, such as wearing a face mask and keeping one and a half meters of distance. We can imagine you have lots of questions on how to get started. So don't hesitate to walk up to Hooper Netwin and let them know what you're trying to build. Naturally, they can't answer all of your questions, but they have quite some experience between them, as well as a large network beyond TOE Innovation Space. If they can't help you, they probably know someone who can. So, are you getting excited already? Good, because that's the idea. We hope to see you very soon at TOE Innovation Space, going from dream to demo.